Hello, so um, I just wanted to show some little masks my aunt had made because apparently she's been, you know, found a design online and been sort of stitching masks together for people which I thought was quite nice and she offered to do me some so I thought yes please, um, I'll do a video on them. So she's done me two, one's sort of a navy blue one, the other's sort of a striped blue one. Um, it's got a sort of bit of a pattern inside that or a picture. Looks like I suppose it's probably from an old quilt or something. But yeah, um, I'll see if I can find out if there's, because I think she said the design came from online, so I'll see if, you know, I can find a PDF or whatever, or, you know, like an image guide to making them, but basically in the UK at the moment, uh, you're now required, I think it is on public transport, to wear a homemade mask, or at least a basic mask. Obviously, if you do have P3 masks and everything, all the better, but the idea is that everybody on public transport and stuff now has to wear a mask due to corona risk, so I'm assuming that this bit is going to be the nose side of it. Or is it going to be this way? It's weirdly, I actually am not sure. I'll try it both ways up and see which seems better. Obviously I should have put that round first. And how I'm not actually weirdly used to uh, using basic masks. If it was a six point head harness I'd find it a lot easier to put on. But um, so Let's get that there. And I'll get these straps at the correct angle. Yeah, I assume it's meant to be that way round, because then that fits pretty well with the chin and everything else. So as you can see, they're pretty simple, but they seem quite good in terms of um, design. So, like a standard mask, you have one strap sort of at the neck level, then the other above the ears to the back of the head sort of area. Depends on what you personally find. You know, it seems quite good, but this mask does seem a good design, and as said, you know, as we've gone over lots and lots of times before with cloth masks, they're not going to provide you all that much particle protection. The idea of them is basically if you're coughing, so let's just do a little simulation, <coughs> there's not much spittle or anything going to get through the mask. As you can see, it does steam my glasses up a bit, but it's certainly a lot better than when I made one just using a little bit of rag. I'm sure if you uh, sort of, you know, worked long enough on the design, you might be able to do an anti-fogging thing, but this is actually quite comfortable. So, yeah, um, I'll show you the other one she made, so I'm pretty sure it is meant to be the um, that bit upwards, because it is sort of more of a nose cup design. So let's take this one off. I'll take my glasses off as well and show it you without the glasses on, because that's more practical for me anyway. So, um... Yeah, so there we go, there's that one. I think I prefer the stripey one, but I like both of these. Um, so yeah, pretty simple design. If I can find out where the design was online for people to print out and stitch sort of themselves, I'll link it. But yeah, I thought it was just quite a nice thing that she made, because obviously when I'm back to work or whatever, it might be that, you know, you're required to wear a mask like this, even if you're like solo working or whatever else. You know, obviously I've got proper FFP3 masks and everything, but it's useful to have these because, um, as I said, it's now sort of a public requirement that if you're out and about in certain areas, um, you know, or on public transport, you do need a mask because the idea is that, you know, Britain's finally using the logic that lots of countries have used for years that if you've got, you know, an infection or you may have an infection, if everybody wears a mask, the transmission risk is much lower in confined spaces. So... There you go, these are certainly much better quality than the really cheap sort of plasticky ones you can buy from supermarkets that still end up costing like a pound each and are designed to be thrown away. So there you go, it's basically, I'll just show the design again, sort of from the other angle, so, you can see. Basically it's just sort of cloth stitched on two sides, um, so it's sort of a dual layer type thing as you can see. Um, so yeah, it's like that. And then, you know, two elastic straps on it, one for lower down, one for higher up, um, which seems to give a good face seal, as said, um, you know. And yeah, they're fairly comfortable for what they are, so she's done an excellent job making them, because obviously I don't normally review masks like this, but I thought it'd be a nice sort of different thing to review. Um, so yeah, good little compact design, I like them. If I can find out where they were made, you know, the site where the instructions came from, I'll get that for people if they want to make their own. But, yeah, they're, they're very good, actually. Um, 
And what's actually quite good as well, I've just noticed that that's got a bit of a reinforced ridge there, so uh, that keeps the face shape better. So again, quite quite good for what they are. So um, yeah, obviously at this point the video goes live, lots of things should be opening back up, and yeah, you probably are required, even for the people not in the UK, it seems to be in lots of countries as well. You know, there's certain requirements in certain confined spaces, you do have to wear a mask. So the thing is, you know, you have to make your own if you're not actually um, able to get a proper one. 